<laughs> I left the water ball in front of the camera. Fucking idiot. Skateboard training. Training for skateboarding. So when I go out skateboarding, I have a training routine that I like to stick to when I go out to practice. It helps me get more comfortable and just develop more ability on the board in general. What I want to kind of do today is go over the four basic stances that you're going to see in skateboarding all the time. This is just primarily the four different positions that you can stand on a skateboard. And while I'm at it, show you a couple of tricks in those stances so you can get a better idea of what they look like. We are going to go into backside and frontside tricks, but we're going to save that for a later video because that's where it starts to get complicated. I do this training routine primarily to sort of practice for games of skate. Because at some point, I want to win a game of skate. The first stance you're going to learn to do any tricks in skateboarding is going to be your natural stance. This is either going to be regular footed or goofy footed. This is the stance that feels the most comfortable to you. For me, that's goofy foot. That means I ride with my right foot forward on the board and my left foot stays on the tail. I do all the flicking with my right leg and all the popping with my left foot. when you stand in your natural stance but you travel in the reverse direction. Same as your normal stance, but you're going backwards. Then we have the nollie stance. This is short for a nose ollie. This is when you ride in the same direction as your normal comfortable stance, but all of the tricks that you perform are popped from the nose of the board. And all the flicking and tricks and things that you do with the board are going to be done with your non-dominant leg. Finally, we have switch stance. Switch stance is the opposite of your natural stance. This stance can be super uncomfortable and it makes learning tricks incredibly difficult. Side pop shove it took me 
ages. Ages. So hopefully that made things at least a little bit clearer. We are going to go into some more detail later on. I want to save that for another video. This is quite a complicated topic, really. Skateboarders disagree on the names of these tricks. And if I got any of the names in the previous tricks wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I do this training routine because I want to get better at skateboarding. Let me know what you guys do for your own training. Do you have a training schedule? Is there something that you guys specifically like to do when you go out to practice skateboarding? Let me know, because I might use it. I need all the help I can get. I'll see you in the next one.